Replacing the rotor. Following are the SAF integral rotor replacement procedures. After having removed the ABS sensor and head unit from the spindle, you can now replace the rotor. To remove the rotor from the head unit, use a size 15 mm socket to loosen and discard all 10 connection bolts and washers. Clean the rotor contact surfaces on the head unit. Using compressed air, clean the tapped holes in the hub. Check to make sure the threads are undamaged. Before attaching the new rotor, inspect the wheel bolts on the hub and replace any damaged bolts. Only replace bolts that are damaged or in need of replacement. Remove the wheel bolts by pressing them out of the head unit and discard them. For the SAF integral rotor hub, ensure correct alignment of the bolts during installation. Position the flat side of each wheel bolt head so that it is facing the center of the hub. Install new wheel bolts by pressing them into the head unit. Now attach the new SAF integral rotor to the hub using 10 new SAF specific integral bolts and washers. Using a torque wrench, pre-torque the bolts to 40 foot-pounds. For final torque, Tighten the bolts to 140 foot-pounds using a crisscross pattern. Important: When attaching a new rotor to the head unit, use only new SAF specified connection bolts. Bolts must be clean and free from oil and grease. Caution: When installing new washers, ensure that there is clearance provided between the connection bolts and the ABS sensor block. Failure to provide clearance can cause damage to the connection bolts, the ABS sensor block, and even the ABS sensor. Note, to ensure ample clearance, you may need to modify the ABS sensor block. Refer to SAF Holland Manual XL-SA2031SB-EN-US.